Saul Bernstein, please make him welcome. Saul Bernstein. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, boy. Oh. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, thanks for coming. Th listen, they said I could do four minutes. It took me two minutes to get on. It'll take two to get off. So that's the show. You got screwed. <laughs> Good night. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, am I glad to be here. I just had some wonderful news. I've just been voted Jewish Comedian of the Year. Yeah. Uh, by Hamas. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Get out of here. I don't like your face. I'll tell you that. Oh, boy, so many hookers in. Evening, ladies. God bless you. Good to see you. <laughs> Couple of gay guys. Nice to see you. Boy. Listen, long as you got your health, you want to shove things in your tuchus, it's your chazashim business. <laughs> Nothing to do with anybody. That's the truth. Oh, boy, so I'm sitting in the dress room. Guy knocks on the door. He said, Mr. Bernstein, you're on. I said, am I? How am I doing? <laughs> Oh, but we got any Jewish people in tonight apart from me? Yeah. One. <laughs> That's like Berlin, 1939. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. So I came over to do a few gigs. They called me up. They said, Sully, you want to do a TV show? I said, I'd love to, darling. What kind of money are you talking about? Guy says, 500 bucks. I said, I'll give you 250. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Got another call the other day. They said, Sully, how would you like to do a benefit show for refugees? I said, I'd love to, but I'd sooner have the money. <laughs> Where am I going to put them? I live in a small apartment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. And all these beautiful... What's your name, darling? You're beautiful. Gyro. Gyro. Can I call you Chlamydia? <laughs> That's my favorite. I love that name. I love that... You're probably thinking, so Bernstein, old guy, better use his Viagra. I don't need Viagra. <laughs> don't need it, darling. I need a woman. That's what I need. <laughs> oh, boy. Get out. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm an old man, but I got a young heart. It's true. I got a heart of a 25 year old. He was killed in a car crash. Don't ask. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, talking about drive, don't you just hate it when you're driving up the motorway on the outside lane, someone goes in back of you and wakes you up? <laughs> I hate that. And I just bought a satellite navigation system, a Jewish satellite navigation system. Now, there's two people in my car don't know where the fuck they are going. <laughs> don't slow me down. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm, I'm doing my last tour before I die. I've been all over the world. I was in Europe. I just went... Down. You ever been to Amsterdam? Yes. I thought you looked familiar. <laughs> I was... Did you go to Anne Frank's house? Yes. So did I. And I'll tell you something. No wonder the Germans found her. The Q's. <laughs> you kidding me, man? There's 200 people queuing to get in. You think the Nazis never saw that? What are you, putting me on? <laughs> I was in Austria. Austria. Want to talk about anti-Semitism? Austria. They're showing Schindler's List on the Comedy Channel. <laughs> you put me on, those sons of bitches. <laughs> oh, boy. There was a whole thing last year with the cartoons from Denmark. There's not one comedian anywhere in the world making jokes about Islam. Not one. So I would like to address the balance. <laughs> I'd like to, but I'm not an idiot. Okay? <laughs> I like my balls too much. I'll tell you that. Oh, boy, and I was in London, England. There's a whole big debate now. Should Muslim women cover their faces or shouldn't they cover their faces? Let's face it, some of them should. <laughs> I saw a couple of chicks in Brisbane should cover their goddamn faces too, I'll tell you that. Oh, boy, and I want you to know I'm a Jew. I'm proud to be Jewish, but I'm not happy what's going on in the Middle East. I hate the whole situation. And believe me, there's a solution for peace, for lasting peace. Only one thing, for the Palestinian people to have their own homeland. What do you all think? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we should give them Germany. <laughs> okay, that'll solve the problem. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> 
I've been in show business over 70 years, I've got to tell you that. Over 70 years in show business, and I was semi-retired for 25 years. 25 years I played old age homes, that's it. Old age, I'll tell you, they're a lot of fun. And you get a new audience every year. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. And I gotta tell you, people, there's no joy in getting old. You think this is fun? I'm 84, I'm sick, I, I'm a sick man, I'll be honest with you, I'm pissing blood. I got a million, I got a million things on with me. I'll give an example. I went to my doctor the other day in London. I said, doctor, I got a problem with my arm. He said, Sully, you got tennis elbow. People, how can you have tennis elbow if you never played tennis in your life? I swear to God, young fella, you know what it's from? Jerking off. I still, I, no, I'm serious. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 80, 84 years old. Takes me four or five days, but hey, I'm not so busy. <laughs> I got the time. You know what I'm saying? I got a hernia. I got eight balls down there. I swear to God. <laughs> now you can play pool in my pants. It's a nightmare. I, hemorrhoids, forget about it. It's like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon up there. It's like being stalked, I tell you. Oh, boy. But listen, you've been beautiful. I gotta, I gotta go to the toilet, to be honest with you. <laughs> Oh, shit, too late. I, uh, <laughs> but listen, I want to leave you with something, because you're beautiful people. I, I got a message, and you're probably thinking, who needs a message from the crazy old Jew? But one day, you look back, all you young people think, hey, the guy was right. I'll tell you what it is. I want to leave you with this. The greatest gift you can give another human being is your time. Did you know that? Forget money, jewelry, beer, any of that kind of bullshit. The greatest gift you can give another human being is your time. So the blonde lady, would you give me five minutes of my time? <laughs> Peace and love. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, so please stand. Oh! <laughs>